Hey all. Instead of me just learning Crackerbox Palace and then doing a demo and you following the chords, this might be another good one to uh, show you how to play it from scratch and listen for things and learn it by ear. So what I'm going to do is I'll play through a little bit of it and we'll stop it after a little bit and uh, I'll tell you what I hear and maybe we can come to some uh, logical conclusions on how to do an arrangement of it. So I'm just going to play it for a minute. Okay, so the first thing, just a few seconds into it, is uh, we can hear it's in B flat to F to C minor. But, uh, you know, even though those are fine to play <laughs> on a guitar, they're not exactly guitar friendly. So if you hear, uh, at least if I hear, B flat on a guitar, um, it's often a logical assumption that they're capable at the first fret and using an A fingering. So A to, to E to B minor now. That's a little bit more logical. But let's play a little bit more and see uh, how, where it goes from there and uh, whether it plays out that, that the capo really is the right placement. There's, there's one thing in there that uh, doesn't really make sense and you can hear a little bit when it goes so when it goes to that minor chord you can hear the guitar you can hear that up pretty high well you can't do that here so what does that leave that that leads me to believe that the Capo's probably not there <laughs> at the first fret, or at least for that one, for the one guitar. And to me it sounds like, at the sixth fret, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And with an E shape, to B, to F sharp minor. So let's try that a little bit and see where that goes. Because I want to be able to do this on that minor chord. Because that's what I hear in, that, in the turnaround, right before you know, the end of the chorus. I hear... So we'll try it again. And I'm probably going to miss some of the chord changes because I haven't really listened to it all that close. But let's see how that goes. So I, I think we're uh, we're pretty close with that, and uh, so let's let's go through the chords. E, this is you know shapes, E shapes with the capo at the sixth, right? E, B, 
F sharp minor. Does a bunch of those in the intro. You'd borrow an F sharp minor like that. Now it goes into the chorus, right? To B, E, to B, C sharp minor, C sharp minor, B, B to A, C sharp minor, B, A, E, B. So that's now a G and A flat minor, G sharp minor. B, C sharp minor, B, A, and then to A minor. That's the, for me, that's the giveaway that there's at least one of the guitars that's strumming underneath that is uh, at the sixth fret. So it's A minor, open E string, B at the third, B at the first, back at the third, Back to open E string, then high E, three two zero. Now, if I can remember what the actual chords are, we'll go through the whole song, <laughs> and I'll demo it. I'll probably miss a couple of changes because I haven't really heard this much, but. Um, this is kind of how I would do it if I were if I were doing an open mic at a bar or something, and just needed me and a guitar if I could sing. This is how I do it.
that seems uh, pretty logical on the chord progression, or at least uh, typical of, of George uh, at, at that period. But uh, the main thing really is the... So give that a whirl if you, if you uh, prefer it down at the first fret or without a capo at all and play in uh, B flat, F, you know, those chords. Um, that's fine too. But if I were going to do it, this is probably the, the way I do it in order to get that little turnaround part the way it sounds on there. So good luck. If you have any trouble, let me know.